Hello America, I'm Tom Han, the creator of Americana Corner, and welcome to Preserving America. Today we are talking with one of our Americana Corner grant recipients, the Friends of Washington Crossing Park along the banks of the Delaware in beautiful Washington Crossing, Pennsylvania. And joining us is Jennifer Martin, its Executive Director. Jennifer, welcome to Americana Corner. Thank you so much, Tom. It's great to be here. It's great to see you. Please tell us about the mission of Washington Crossing Park. So my organization, they work in partnership with uh, the Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. And our mission is to interpret General Washington's crossing of the Delaware Christmas night, 1776, and interpret that ongoing impact for future generations. That's outstanding. And tell us what uh, your site has to offer visitors. So our site is very unique. Um, it is, like like you said, right along the Delaware River. It's in Bucks County. Um, we have a lot of recreational visitation, but our main audience and our main goal is to educate people about the history that took place here. Um, each year we host about just under a million visitors for field trip programs, for the crossing reenactment, living history programs like Fourth of July, sheep shearing, autumn encampment. And um, we're really grateful to be able to share the park with so many visitors and promote this important history. Yeah, I see you have a very vibrant uh, school visitation program. Tell us about that, if you would. So we do. Um, we have just under 10,000 school kids a year from about 150 local schools. Uh, the parks really become an important resource for teachers looking to enhance their curriculum. We do a living history program called Colonial Days. That's our main on-site program. And during that program, we have about 10 to 15 reenactors reenacting not only Washington and the reenactment and discussing the importance of that, but also how people lived in the time of Washington to really create that immersive experience for students. Your school program is really phenomenal. That's really the key, isn't it? Getting uh school-aged kids out to visit sites. Not everybody does it as well as you guys do, so uh, kudos to you. Um, tell us about the reenactment. That sounds like tons of fun. So the reenactment is a very unique event. Um, I'm sitting in front of the Emanuel Loitza's painting um, of Washington crossing the Delaware. And this is, the crossing event is literally that. It is a chance for you to see with about 250 reenactors, a live reenactment of Washington crossing the Delaware. So the program itself begins with presentations on living history, which we have throughout the day for the first few hours. And then around one o'clock, um, two days in December, the first crossing is that second Sunday in December and Christmas Day, actually on Christmas Day, we do a reenactment. Wow. Yeah, so we have, and it's funny because people always say to me like, yeah, I, I hope I can get out there one year, it's Christmas. But despite the people who can't come, we have about 5,000 people on Christmas, uh, sometimes more weather depending. Um, and then for the first crossing, we have just under 5,000 for that event as well. So we have reenactors getting into the boats, going across the river, great speeches by some of the leadership. We have Glover, we have Knox, we have Washington talking about their role. Um, and then once Washington gets back, we have some artillery too. Do you really? Yeah, we also have fife and drum. We actually, our, our park actually has our own fife and drum. So we have a lot of different aspects to kind of immerse people into the history. Uh, that is fantastic. Tell us about the program, the project, I should say, that uh, Americana Corner helped to fund. Yeah, so the, the project that Americana Corner helped to fund is bringing back our 76 Seconds of History video series. We have about 50,000 followers across all of our social media platforms that get our newsletter. So we have a, a really great following. And the first video we did for 76 Seconds on um, Durham boats, which was just, what is a Durham boat, um, received in just a week about 12,000 views. So during COVID, we had stopped filming that video series and in having so many teachers come back to us and say that that video really allowed them to kind of during COVID enhance their curriculum. And as they're coming back to the park, teach their students more, there'd become a great demand for us to continue to do this video series. So we have about six that we're planning um, leading up to 2026, and uh, three of which have been funded by Americana Corner. That's fantastic. I can't wait to see all the different videos you come up with. It's, uh, it's great to bring more stories into the mix, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, neat. Uh, any last uh, thoughts before we uh, close? 
Well, I did want to share that if you are in the area and you have an appetite, or even if you're not in the area and you have an appetite for living history, we would love for you to join us. This year, the Crossing Reenactment is Sunday, December 10th. And if you're a true history lover like myself, you will be here with us on December 25th to experience the Christmas Day reenactment, which this year is on a Monday. Well, thank you, Jennifer. This has been great. I'm sure we could talk about this stuff all day long. Uh, it's been fascinating. And thank you for uh, joining us today. And thank you out there for listening. And until next time, may your love of country lead you. Mm -hmm.